Creo 8.0 includes quite a number of new model tree capabilities to make it easier to organize and analyze the design and to allow design engineers to document their design in a way that others new to the design can quickly grasp the evolution and functional grouping of bodies, quills and other design items. In particular, the model tree enhancements include a new design items folder, which is introduced in part mode, representing a design tree that organizes bodies, quills and other items such as annotation elements or material nodes independent from regeneration sequence. Quills can now be listed underneath a quills subnode in analogy to the presentation of solid bodies. Quilt display control is now included in the model tree filter settings dialog. Also note updated icons for bodies and quills to better differentiate the status, indicating whether they are consumed, have no geometry or are regular. If you create a quilt, the default name shows the quilt ID. Renaming quilts to better document the design intent of a particular quilt is also possible. The user-defined name of a quilt can then be used to search and filter it in the model tree and is also shown in brackets during quilt pre-selection and in feature collectors. Please note to see the quilt ID in selection as well as shown here requires the configuration option show selected item ID to be set to yes. With the quilts being exposed visually in the tree you can now show and hide the quilt object without hiding the feature that created the quilt. Previously that interaction was coupled. Second level grouping for bodies and quilts is provided in the design items tree to reduce length of quilt and body lists. These groups are created automatically when creating several bodies or quilts with a single feature such as a pattern feature, a mirror import or similar. This significantly eases the handling of trees with many bodies or quilts. The auto locate capability can now be chosen to act on the feature list or design items list. A selection priority setting controls whether the primary selection, including the automatic location of the selected item, is performed on the feature list or design items list respectively. Set the selection priority to design items if you want to focus on interacting with quilts, bodies and their contributing features. In that case, quilt and body folders and subnodes will automatically expand and show the contributing features being selected or being parent of the selected geometry.